Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some exciting news that has to do with Simply Clothes Pro being available for Blender 2.9. Now the reason why we're talking about this is because there are some very interesting and lovely features that are now available and obviously you just have to take advantage of them. First of all, we now have a multi-layer pinning system that you can now use. There is also some very interesting sculpting mode which you can actually use and most of all, we have some very nice cloth library presets that you can pick from with that said we're going to dive directly into blender where we are going to take a look at this tool and see how we can get started with it so if you want to get this tool link is going to be in the description where you can find both that of the gumroad and also on blender market for you to get this installed you need to download that go over to edit go over to preference and you know you can do all of your installation stuff right there so one of the cool features with the 2.9 release is you can now create your clothes and move directly to the sculpting room but before we talk about the sculpting room let's simply get a character which we can play with so for that we're going to fire up character creator from the guys at revolution you know get a character if you're not okay with a female character you can choose a male character you can tweak this character however you want if you want to give it beards you can choose to do that you want to give it some skin wrinkles some skin you know stuff yep you can do that and with this said you can just simply tweak your character however you choose kick that off and bring that directly in blender so with this loaded up in blender you can see what we have and if you've installed the add-on all you need to do is press n on your keyboard and then you can see what we have right here first things first you would notice that the simply clip now has a very tiny thumbnail that shows you the clip library by simply clicking here you can see we have some very good to go library i really love the idea that there's this set of libraries that we can now use actually let's go ahead and try one of them i think maybe we should do that of a skirt let's do a simple skirt and then with that done i'm going to select the main character make it an active collision select this object and all you have to do is press the playback button and with this you now have your character putting on the skirt if you're not okay with this you can go in there press tab on your keyboard select the object which you want press l on your keyboard scale this as much as you want let's say we want to scale this is just about the point like so let's go around select this other one press l scale these about a point like so and that's it that's all you have to do press the tab key to jump all the way out press the playback button and you have yourself some very nice simulation so we already talked about some more pretty stuff that you can do with simply clothes and i'm also going to reiterate some of those things one more time if you are feeling very excited and you want to change the material or the cloth type that you're working with you can click here just simply clicking here you have access to a huge ton of them so maybe you want to go with rubber you want to go with leather you want to go with grease you want to go with crease you want to go with spring heavy whatever one you want to do you can simply select that there and so if you're feeling excited about this character and let's say we want to give this character a singlet all we need to do is click right here go over to the part where we have singlet let's find a male singlet and drop that male singlet right there so we have a male singlet let's bring this one all the way down let's also scale this down a bit and simply position this all the way to a point like so press the playback button and we have our character with some very nice looking singlet you can bring the singlet all the way out here and then you can run a very nice simulation to get this going but before we do that singlet thing let's simply make sure that we have our skirt fitted and good to go so with this skirt here if you would like to pin some parts you can now create some pinning group and how you can create this pin group is very very interesting we need to select the object press tab on the keyboard make sure that we have the parts that we want so because right now we have a multi-layer pinning system what we can do is very very simple i can switch from faces to vertices select the vertices select all of this and at this point i can click on add pin layer and by simply doing that we can give it a name and i'm going to call this tip press ok just to get this going and right there we have that done and with this ok you can create as much as you want so once we're done with that press the tab key and then once we run our simulation one more time you'll notice that we have all these things pinned to that point something else which is very interesting is once you're playing back your animation you can also choose to play with the pinning so you can drop it down you can raise it all the way up totally dependent on what you want to get you can use this to control the entire simulation how you want it to look like so with this done i'm going to press pause just to stop that right there because we have the kind of skirt that we want and if this is you know okay by your standards and what you want to do click on apply clothes by simply clicking on apply clothes you have this as a mesh you can press tab right here and once you do that you can go over to the sculpting section and just like the other presets that exist if you click right here you can now have access to several sculpt brushes so you can use the drag and drag certain parts together so if you would like to drag some parts you want to get some of those things right there you know where you want them to be 
yep you can you can also choose to subdivide this if subdivision is what you're going for if you want to unsubdivide you can do that if you're playing with a mask you want to clean that mask you can do that there if you want this to be a flat object you can see that as flat smooth you want to see some wireframes you don't want to see wireframes you want to check the orientation if you're looking at the normals or you know where things are supposed to be yes you can do all of that now the beautiful thing about these brushes that you have right now is you can use them to add and also correct details so a very good example is if you like to you know expand some parts let's say you want to expand some parts like this and because this is the native cloak brush that exists with blender you can literally go in here use this and start doing some very fun looking things if you want to pinch things together yeah you can so you can use this to pinch some stuff around if you like to you know grab things and move them around yes you can and of course you can change this from radial to plane if i also switch here and maybe pick a push and i want this to be a plane push Yes, we can. We can use the plane push to do stuff like that. If you want to use the plane grab, you can use the plane grab to grab things around. So depending on what you want to do, you can see all of that dynamic thing happening in real time. And it's just interesting to see that you have one add-on that gives you all of these possibilities and it's just very interesting. Now with this set, let's also go back and throw in that singlet. Now throwing in that singlet is very simple. So what we need to do is just simply click on done. And all we need to do is click right here, select the singlet that we want. So let's say we want this one, just click right there and automatically the clothes is created. So we can zoom all the way out and bring this one right down here about a point like so. Let's move this about a point like this, scale this a bit, move this backwards. And then all you have to do now is and then with all of this in place, just press the playback button and you have yourself a nice looking clock. So I'm also going to go through there, pause this and make some corrections. So if you would like to also make this collide, we can reset this all the way back, select this main one and set this as an active collider. Select this other one, press the playback button. And now you can see how comfortable this is going to collide with that. Now the next things that are left is for you to just go in there and make some stitches, you know, stitch things together however you want them to be. You can also choose to reset this, scroll all the way down and increase the sewing parameter. You can also increase the merging distance now it's not totally up to you to go in there and start making all of that changes and stuff all of these parameters we've explained them in previous videos so try as much as possible to check out that other video just in case you get into problems i'm also going to put a link in the description where you can find the documentation speaking about the documentation there is now an update to that as the japanese language is now inclusive so if you're looking for a tool set that you can just use to create male and female clothes you want to create clothes simply you don't want to go through and start sketching these things by hand you just need a predefined stuff a nice looking template that you can just start off with and you know get the most out of creating clothes you want to find an easier way of sculpting this simply matching your clothes and pressing the playback button to get things up and running simply clothes seems to be the tool for you so if you want to see more about this or you want to own this tool there's going to be a link in the description that can take you over to the gum road and also to the blender market where you can check this out and that's definitely going to be about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace